All right, welcome back to my basement. I became aware that there was a firmware update uh, available for the AC500. So uh, I went and checked and sure enough it is there. So I thought I would demonstrate doing that. Uh, this is uh, two pieces of firmware. So we're gonna, we're gonna apply both. And uh, there've been a lot of questions I see in the user group about doing firmware. So I thought I would uh, show how that works. Uh, the, first, the first point of confusion is uh, that you actually have to be logged into the Blue Eddy app. Uh, you can't do this in guest mode. So uh, I will click on uh, me down here in the corner. You see I am logged in as, yeah, that's my name and picture right there. Uh, so I am logged in. Uh, the second part that I see uh, problems with is people go to access the unit via Bluetooth and connect through that. And when you connect uh, just via that Bluetooth menu, I call this guest mode. It does not give you uh, access to the firmware screen. Uh, it sort of does, you can view the firmware, but you can't update it. So if I go to version, I can see my current firmwares, but it I know there's an update available, but it, it's not showing me an option to, to, uh, to upgrade. So the, uh, the correct way to access the firmware is you have to go to My Devices. And then I have an AC500 and there are two ways to access it. You can get to it via Bluetooth or via Wi-Fi. Uh, I have it set to the default of Wi-Fi. So if I just tap on it, you see the little cloud icon up there. This also will not give me access to the upgrade menu. Uh, you see from here I can go to version and I see the same thing as before. There are no upgrade buttons. So I have to access the unit via Bluetooth. And again, from this menu, there are two ways that you can do that. You can tap on the three dots and go directly to upgrade, which is a shortcut that takes you to uh, Bluetooth connection and then the firmware menu. Or you can do it the long way, which I will show you first is you tap on Bluetooth. Notice now we have a Bluetooth icon here and a little signal strength meter. And then you tap on the gear icon. And then I can go down to firmware upgrade. And look, now I have the options. I will exit this menu and show the shortcut method. Tap on the three dots. Oops, missed the three dots. Tap on the three dots, tap on upgrade, and it takes me to that same update menu. Now, uh, when you do an update, uh, it will turn off the inverter. I currently uh, am using this thing full-time in my house, so I have removed all the load from it. Uh, I am gonna leave the inverter on so we can see that happen, but uh, I'm gonna do the ARM update first. So I click on upgrade and it tells me some warnings. Uh, it'll shut it off, all that, don't take the phone away. So I will tap on OK. And now we wait. Preparing, transferring. There it turned off the, uh, the power button you see here. Power light went off. Uh, it's still showing the inverter on even though the inverter is not yet on. Uh, it, it turned off with the power button, but the screen didn't update. Uh, the screen is showing upgrade, updating here. And this will take, uh, I don't know, like a minute or so. I'll maybe fast forward through the rest of this. All right, it's showing near completion here. Power light is back on. Notice here, now it says AC off, the screen uh, updated. The inverter is still off. Upgrade successful, please reconnect to the device. I will tap okay. I will tap the three dots. I will tap upgrade. And now my arm has been updated, but the DSP firmware still shows an update. So you have to do these uh, one at a time. I don't think the matter, uh, the order uh, is of importance, 
but you do have to do them one at a time. I will, uh, again, to demonstrate this, I will turn the inverter on. Okay, the inverter's on. Now we will do the DSP, up, DSP update. Tap upgrade. Same warning message. It says preparing, transferring. There it turned off the inverter, the power light went off. But the screen, again, still hasn't updated. Now it says updating, again, same as before. And it looks like we're back on the unit, uh, but the, uh, the app has not reflected that yet. Let's me turn it on. Let me check the version on the uh, AC500 here. Go to settings, next, next, next. Oh yeah, wrong, wrong menu. DSP is 4059.30. The app stuck. It's showing uh, the current, the, the version I was putting on it is 4059.30. So I bump the disconnected upgrade stopped. All right, let me go back in the menu. Bluetooth. Upgrade. Four five nine thirty. Yep, we match. Everything's everything's current now. While I'm in here, I will check the batteries. I have two B three hundreds on here. That one has discovered. This guy is still thinking. It looks like. There it is. Up to date. Up to date. Notice my uh, 2B300s have different major firmware revisions. This is uh, V1024 and this is V1021, but yet they're both current. I'm told that uh, at some point uh, there have been various chipsets put in the BMSs. So each one has a uh, corresponding different uh, sequence of firmwares that are current. Uh, so that's, uh, that's how you upgrade. A Blue Eddy device. I uh, I apologize for the app hanging up, but that sometimes happens. But we did two firmwares there, and we are back online. So I'm going to uh, get my house loads uh, switched back to this thing, and uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.